Hi, I'm Doug Turner, and welcome again to Building Paradise. Um, this is the first show since the pandemic, and thank you for tuning in today. And just want to remind everybody what we're doing at Building Paradise. We're providing some good information about custom home building and remodeling on 38. We're going to have industry experts who are material providers, architects, designers, and craftsmen. And today we're filming from a brand new home. We're finishing. You might hear a few noises in the background, a little drilling, maybe a little hammering, a little paintbrushing, getting this house finished. But it is a piece of art. It's over 3,000 square feet heated and cooled. It's got over 2,000 square feet of stacked porches with a golf view. It's absolutely spectacular. Well, today, my guest is Terry Rawson of Sierra Pacific. And Terry, welcome. And Thank you so much for being Thank a guest on the show today. Here. Terry has been with Sierra Pacific for over 35 years. He's our territory manager. So he's our Sierra Pacific guy right here on 38. I've got a few questions for you, Terry. And Absolutely. I kind of wanted you to start off by talking about Sierra Pacific, who they are, company culture, what they do, what they produce, and your uh, self-sustaining with your energy. and what products you're manufacturing. Just kind of tell us about that. Absolutely. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me here. This, this is a beautiful home. And uh, as Doug mentioned, we're just right down the street from the Gulf of Mexico. It's got a wonderful view outside. Um, but yes, I work for Sierra Pacific Windows, but we don't do just windows, Doug. We operate under an umbrella, Sierra Pacific Industries. So we're a private company based out of California. And our founder, Red Emerson, who today is, I think, 90 years old, wow. uh, bought his first sawmill when he was 25 years old. Well, since then, over the years, uh, it's, we're still a private business today. So the company, the family owns 2.2 million acres of prime timberland up in Northern California. So when did Red start the company again? Uh, when he was 25 years old, he was on his first sawmill. And what year was that? It was in the late 40s, 46, I believe, 1946. So today, with all of this timberland, what, what do we do with it? Well, we harvest. So for every tree that we harvest, we plant seven seedlings. So we manage the property. We have forestry people on staff to help manage the property. But with the timberland, we produce lumber. So we're the second largest lumber producer in the United States of America. We also have two millwork divisions. And let me define millwork right quick. Millwork might be exterior door frames, interior door frames, window frames, window sash parts, mull posts that would go on a double door unit, t astricals that would go on a double door unit. Well, we produce these products and ship them all over the U.S. So we're the nation's largest millwork producer. Coincidentally, we sell some window and sash parts to some of our competition on the window side of the business. But managing all this land creates some other opportunities that we have. So not only do we create lumber or produce lumber and, and produce millwork, we also create and produce energy. We go through a lot of logs and we use every part of that log that we possibly can. But there's some parts of the logs that just aren't usable. So we burn it, create steam, and we make electricity. So today, and you can check this out on our website, I encourage everybody to look at our website. It's a tool of very, very useful information, and it tells our story, but we've got seven cogeneration electric plants. So in the state of California, we've got 19 total facilities be it the uh, logging operation facilities, be it the millwork divisions, our corporate office, uh, truck terminals, things of this nature. So these 19 facilities are totally self-contained from an electrical standpoint. Today, and this is a, an astonishing number, our entire company has over 5,000 employees. But again, we just happen to have a window division, and that's why we're in this beautiful house today. Yeah, the windows are spectacular. Y'all did a great job with them. And that's why I want to kind of transition and let's, let's talk about the type of windows Sierra Pacific manufactures, specifically for our area. We have the, you know, the high impact requirements of 140, 150 mile an hour impact. 
So talk about what kind of windows Sierra Pacific manufactures for this area. Well, sure, surely. Um, just a just a quick note. We do we do manufacture products from vinyl all the way to high end commercial. But in the 38 area that we're in today, we we uh, we manufacture different impact products. We have these impact products in double hungs. We have them in single hungs. Well, talk about what a double hung and a single hung is, just for our viewers so they understand. Sure. What these so a standard double hung, as everybody is familiar with, is um, where your top and bottom sash both operate. Uh, we can convert that window into a single hung where just the bottom operates and the top would become fixed. And sometimes people prefer that over a double hung. If it's a commercial building, sometimes they'd rather have a single hung in that commercial application versus a residential. Uh, but we can we can do either or. And casements, when would you use a casement window? It's really a personal preference. Uh, casements typically, from an air infiltration standpoint, casements are a little bit tighter because they open out. So they're when their winds hit them, they, they become tighter. Uh, but it's really a personal preference. Okay, and a casement is when the the whole window is hinged and cranks out. That is correct. Left either on the left side or the right side, it's your, it's your purpose. That is absolutely correct. Okay, so, and then we have the clad, wood, whatever clad, let's talk about why you would pick a wood window or a clad over wood or a vinyl. What, the, what are the differences and how do they perform? Vinyl, vinyl definitely has a place in the market. It's, a, it's an entry level product, but when you step up to a wood clad product over a wood wood product, it gives you a lot of color options. Today, we have 75 colors that we have available for the homeowner to choose from. We can also do custom colors, and that's an unlimited amount of custom colors. That's a lot of flexibility. And it's across our entire product line, no matter if it's what, what series of product it is, we offer all the colors across the line. We offer, you know, 10 wood species on the interior. We can do, uh, custom painting on the interior, we can do custom staining on the interior, custom sizes. So we really don't handcuff our homeowners and builders to, to limitations. We're wide open in terms of what we can offer. Yeah. Today we're in this house uh, on the Gulf and the owner selected the H3 series. Tell us about the H3 series and why they're so popular. H3. Coincidentally, H3 has become to be our number one leader in our company across the nation. It represents about 45, 46% of our total production. And what has taken this window from when we introduced it back in, the, in 2005, I believe, 2006, to where we are today, is it's got some features that nobody in the industry has. Uh, so the H3 is a three-part system. You've got the beauty of wood on the inside, so you can stain it or paint it. You've got a vinyl mainframe with an integrated nail fin, so it's not a flexible nail fin. And then you've got an aluminum clad exterior. So when you get when you have that aluminum clad exterior, of course you've got the 75 colors that I just mentioned a few minutes ago um, to, to choose from. That's amazing. You know, I remember when we picked out this house and we did it, we decided to go with the prime interior because the client wanted the windows, and as you can see, the windows and the frame were the same color as the trim of the, we just paid our painter to do it. Right. And that way it's, and a lot of times with like a vinyl window, you're gonna see a different white, like for instance, if your trim is white, than whatever your white is, and that's what makes. That's, a, you're exactly right you, about that. And that's a design feature, not the, the window just kind of blends into the whole thing. It gives it a lot of character and a lot of depth. That's correct. The shadow lines that are all the same color. And that makes, that. and you don't know why sometimes when you walk around, why does this house look so good? It's those little details like that, that you're, that you're not thinking, but you just walk in here and go, man, this thing just comes together. And that's a little it's reason why. It's a beautiful why. home. Um, it's a very beautiful home. Yeah, so, um, so in, in your opinion, you know, when it comes to um, exterior windows, what separates Sierra Pacific from the other manufacturers? Well, it's our people. Um, I mean, there's a lot of nice windows in the market today, but I think what separates Sierra Pacific from a lot of our competition is just our people. Um, from our 
from our leadership being the Emersons all the way down to our drivers that deliver our final product. Uh, we work as a team. It's they're my extended family. Uh, the support that I get is unparalleled to anybody out there. And uh, it's, it's very much appreciated from, from a guy that's out running a territory like I do. But in terms of the product, we just have, and we were just talking about the H3. The H3 product has features that nobody else has. We have patents on it. Uh, it's, our, it's our leading product today. As I mentioned, it runs in the upper 40 percentile of our total production. And I'll add this as a last note. We're blessed on, on our side of the business. Sierra Pacific, uh, every territory manager, which I am, we also work with a architectural consultant. So I've got an architectural consultant that I work with. He covers the same territory that I do. And his, his mission every day is to get up and be a front architect, do CE, continuing education classes, have our product spec, have our product drawn into to, to specs. And then we work together uh, promoting and selling product. That's great. And it's, it's just a lot of support that we have. Well, Terry, that's a lot of good information today. And really appreciate you stopping in and sharing Sierra Pacific. I appreciate Pacific. you having me here. It's a great story. And uh, I'm really glad I, I got to learn. I've got a lot of respect for that company and they're, they're doing a great job. It's, it's, it's a phenomenal story. All right, well, thanks, for, thanks so much yes, for today. Sir. Well, I hope you got some good information today on exterior windows and doors right here on the 38 market. I'm Doug Turner, your host, and this is Building Paradise. We've got other episodes that you can watch in the past. Please go to our YouTube channel and watch them. And remember to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.